Catch it, cook it, and eat it. I am here in the studio with Oog DeFil, who is a not only an idol. Um, I how do I, I? I mean, this guy. If there was anyone who embodied the catch it, cook it, eat it uh, lifestyle persona, I would say that I I got lucky and I found the guy. You are the guy who goes out and catches what he cooks, and you have a show. Yeah, I have a show in Canada. It's called Wild Chef, right? Wild Chef. In like, French, it's what? In French, it's Martin sur la route, which is the name of the chef. Yeah. What's his last name? Uh, Martin Picard. Picard, who you've worked for forever. A long time. A long time. Yeah. yeah. He's known for his foie gras. Foie gras, he's, yeah. He's a controversial chef because he kills a lot of geese, right? Yeah, he's controversial, but at the same time, really consistent mm-hmm. with what he thinks, mm-hmm. what he... I mean, and it makes sense at the end. It's not controversial just to be controversial. Right. Well, we got to talk about the show. The show is basically about going out and finding these animals, Mm -hmm. catching them yourself. And I love it because you use every single part of the animal. Yeah. We are making a paella. It's about 500 degrees in here. If anyone can hear me outside, we're suffocating. (laughs) The reason I asked Oog to come and do this is because he does a lot of outdoor cooking. And the show is constantly, you're, you're on the move. You're going to remote locations. You're, you're working with this animal, and you guys are like sometimes cooking in 30 below zero. Uh, oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, totally. The last episode, we would go up north, okay. the Eskimos okay. place, and we would go seal hunting, right. eat everything, wow. and they eat everything raw. They're yeah. incredible. Tell me a little bit about what we got going on here. The, the, the pie is cooking. We used a long grain brown rice. Which is not proper Which at is all. not proper at <laughs> all. And we don't even have a paella pan, but we're doing a Dutch oven version. Yeah. We have shells on. Yeah. Shells on. Yeah. On everything, actually. Yeah. We have it. We have lobster claws, shells on. We have shrimp, shells on. I think they picked you for the show because you grew up on a farm, so slaughtering just doesn't really bother you that much. Uh, I mean, it always it always do something to me. It does? Yeah, it does. Because it it's not uh, it's not easy. Right. It doesn't have to be easy. Right. It should have an effect on you is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, totally, okay. totally. It's killing a... A live thing. Totally. Yeah. You're opening a restaurant here, uh-huh. right? Which is exciting for yeah. us New Yorkers. Yeah, it's exciting and scary, scary. a little bit. But... <laughs> and that's going to be in Long Island uh-huh. City? Yeah, in Long Island City. So Queens. exciting. Yeah. And I feel like you guys are going to absolutely blow up. I feel like you're one of those people who you came here sort of secretly. Nobody quite knows your in history. In the container overnight. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> seriously. And it's going to be awesome because it's going to be controversial. Foodies are going to go crazy for you. You guys have heard it here. That was Catch It, Cook It, and Eat It with Oog in the house. Thank you so much, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Ben. All right. Ben, it was awesome. <laughs> All right. Leaping from tree to tree as they float down the mighty rivers of British Columbia. The giant redwood, the larch, the fir, the mighty Scots pine, the small of fresh cut timber, the crash of mighty trees. With my best girly by my side, we'd say, Sing, sing I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay I sleep all night, I work all day He's a lumberjack and he's okay 